Adolfo in Urbana, Illinois. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. And today I'm going to show you how I cut your prescription lenses with anti glare for your Ray Ban 8901, color 5263, which is the matte black and the 53i size. Now, first off, I want to thank Adolfo. This is about his fifth or sixth pair of glasses. He's also, I've had the pleasure of talking to him. He's also a very smart guy. He's studying like nuclear physics, astrophysics, something like that. And uh, not only is he smart enough to know a bargain when he sees one and continue to buy glasses from me, but he can do some next level physics that would blow away most people here. So this is the carbon fiber frame. You get the pattern of the carbon fiber on your Ray-Ban case. You also get it on your cleaning cloth. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. I hope you don't mind Adolfo. Let me slide that out a little bit so people can see that. But you get the checkerboard of the carbon fiber on the cloth. This is one of Ray-Ban's high-end frames. Put that back there. And of course you can see the carbon fiber there. That's the pattern on the case and the cloth. Is the What? No more flashlight? Did my buddy die on me? Come on now, come on now. Time to go buy some batteries. But hopefully you can pick that up and see the pattern that is on there. And of course, comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And of course, I'm gonna put that on there for you. And this is gonna be very hard for you to see, but in the print there, it says Ray-Ban 8901, color 5263 in the 53i size. So let me go ahead and begin. I'm gonna pop out the original demo lenses. Oh, but first, let me program this, uh, this job, as we call it, this pair of glasses into the computer. You are now Secret Agent 461. Years from now, if you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can send you lenses only. You will not have to send me the frame to cut new lenses. So let me go ahead and take your frame, put it in the tracing element of my blocker, and hit Start. This is volume 461 of my 250 million series, part series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So the stylus pops up and it goes around and traces the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused flex dollars, you'll get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. So that is the shape of the lens we'll be cutting. Let's move that on to the next screen. Your pupillary distance is 31 for actually each eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button a few times till we get down to 31. I know from experience that most people look through the upper quadrant of the lens, so I'm going to raise the optical center height up in this frame. It's starting out at 16.5. Let's move it up to, oop, 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 not the PD. We're going to do the, the OC height. Let's go ahead and make it 19. And let me write that down. And let's go ahead and get your lenses prepped. We're going to come down here to my Marco 101 lensometer. We're going to spin the fine tune knob to 175. Where's 175? There it is. One halfway between 170 and zero. Right, let's turn everything on. Make sure it's zeroed out. No induced prism. And let's take your lens out of the protective packet. Plano minus 75 at 175. Plano minus 75 at 175. Take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Still on Plano. Rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view. Check something here. Check your astigmatism correction. Everything is lining up perfectly. And I'm going to put three dots on your lenses. Ooh, that's a big messy one. And this is the right lens. Let's do the same thing now for the left. Plano minus one at 175. Plano minus one. And I don't have to change it. We're still on 175. You have the same axis for the left or right. I don't have to adjust the power drum. That stays on Plano. Just rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view. Check your astigmatism correction, minus one. And then put three dots on these lenses. Ooh, that's a big messy kiss that you usually get from an ant at Christmas time. I just put some more ink in there. That's why it's all messy. And this is the left lens. And if anyone missed any of that, let me recap. 
you know, I still think it's funny. I don't care about any of y'all. I think that's funny. So the reason why I put the three dots on there is it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. So I place that there. I need to get a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block, because my wife's a J-Lo fan. But on the back is a little silver button that is a magnet that's going to attach itself to another magnet. It's going to do its job twice today. Let's go ahead and get these prepped. I'm going to put two double-sided adhesive stickers. Slide that back in there. The black side is the sticky side because I don't have a magnetic personality to make them. Well, actually, I do. Let me back up for a second, too. Today is March 1st. A little bit rainy and cloudy. That's okay in 50 degrees. I am wearing a pink shirt. Why am I wearing a pink shirt today? Because I got married in this shirt 10 years ago today. This is my lucky shirt. Unfortunately, it was just bad luck that it brought me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm the luckiest man on the planet. I've been married 10 years to the day. I've never had one argument with my wife. It sounds corny, but she is my soulmate and is the best thing that I've ever done. Unfortunately, she can't say the same thing, but you know, hey, that's okay. I've got another 10, 20, 30 years to work on that. But wishing everyone out there that they find their soulmate too. I'm getting, she doesn't know this yet, but I've got reservations at the same table we sat at for our very first date. And actually, being the romantic type that I was, on our very first anniversary, I had an artist go in and paint the, the table that we sat at in front of the in front of a window overlooking the town square. I had an artist paint the very table we sat at for our first date on our first anniversary. I'm taking a three-day weekend. She's going to get a weekend spa treatment while I sit around and twiddle my thumbs and burn up my credit card. But hey, she has earned it being married to me. So... Where, where am I at? Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up that magnet. This another magnet right there. Right here. And a little messy eyeliner there. So we've got the pupillary distance right. We have the OC right. Get everything lined up just perfectly. Those other two dots are on that orange meridian. And hit the button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the unright lens. With that big messy thing on there. Don't worry. I can tell it apart. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky on the second block. Line that up. That is a big wet smooch from Aunt... Let's come up with the old school name. Aunt Sadie. How's that one? So, pupillary distance is the same for the right. 31, because I remember that. Where's the paperwork? Here it is. Bottom left-hand corner of the card. 31 for the right eye. 31 for the left. And just to confuse y'all, this is the right eye. This is the left. The right always goes first, like here. Right is on top. And why does right always go first? Going back to Greek culture, you hear the term, put your best foot forward. When you enter someone's home, you start with your right foot. It is disrespectful to walk into someone's house with the left foot. Now, I don't think anyone cares about that today, but at the time, that's what it was. The right is abbreviation OD, which stands for ocular dexterous, because most people use their right hand to do things. The left, people thought was evil. So it goes by the initials OS, which stands for ocular sinister because anything left-handed was sinister back in the day. Okay, does that complete your history lesson for today? And everything is lined up. Pupillary distance, PD, those two dots are lined up perfectly. Hit that button, the arm comes down and places the block onto the unright lens. Now this is the edger. This is what costs $40,000, it weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter, and then you can cut your own lenses at home on your 10th anniversary, and you won't need this guy anymore to do it for you. So the actual cutting wheel, where's my stylus? Let me move my chair out of the way. I was getting ready to mount a new shelf up on the wall. I'm going to redecorate. So this is going to act like a heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material. This is a diamond crusted wheel. Once it's the final size, this wheel in the center, that channel, that little valley, that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the V-shaped bevel of the frame. Let's go ahead and wake up the computer. Wakey, wakey. That is the shape of the lens we'll be cutting. Just a little bitter, bigger, a little mag magnified. Excuse me, I'm all choked up over my anniversary. I'm not going to, oh, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that, but we're sticking with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of your lenses. Here's an extra button. The two green stars means it's the slow cycle. If I did it on one red star, that means it cuts very fast. I don't like to cut lenses fast. I like to take my time and do it right. 
I am going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens even though none of it's going to protrude out of the frame. It's just when I pop the lens into the frame I don't want any rough edges in contact with the front surface of the frame. So let's put the lens in there and then we'll hit start. I was just about to hit start. So now the magnet, it's going to do its job the last time today. The second time it's going to attach itself to some, another magnet there in the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. That's right, you saw that one coming. I couldn't sneak up on you with that one. We had the green arrow, which is starred in every language. And yes, someone who was watching before, I cleaned the door. <laughs> they said, notice something was different. So I did clean the door so you guys could see a little better. But the lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses, making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Now water will begin spraying in the background. That is there to catch the optical sawdust, otherwise known as schwarf. Plastic, high-index plastic and Tribex lenses cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, but water will spray onto the lens for the last 20 seconds just to wash away any optical debris that we may be fortunate enough to see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. But no, not today. So your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. They are high impact ballistics grade lenses. The same material that our soldiers wear in combat zones to protect their eyes. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. There in Urbana, Illinois. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now the other nice feature about your lenses, I mentioned they are polycarbonate. They're also aspheric. Aspheric simply means not spherical. A spherical lens, if I can get this one out, is round in every direction, every dimension. It has a, it bulges in the center, kind of like me after 10 years of marriage. But it gives you an ugly cosmetic fishbowl appearance that nobody likes. So your lens is not only they thinner and lighter than regular plastic, it has a flatter curvature. The front surface, which gives you a wider field of view. You don't get that fisheye effect like you've seen in certain cameras. And it also fits in today's flatter curvature frames. So you upgraded to anti-glare, which today has the initials AR. It also has the initials ARC, anti-reflective coating, but it's three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, you see how the lens is completely flat around the edges like a nickel? Now it's getting the V-shaped bevel. But it reduces glare when driving at night from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead, fluorescent lights, and such. Now it's a reflection-free lens, meaning that when someone's looking at you, they won't see their reflection in your lens, so it makes for a much better cosmetic look. It also makes your lenses look thinner and invisible in the frame but also has the cosmetic quality that if someone takes a picture of you with a flash, you won't see the flash lit up in the lens. So water has begun spraying onto the lens, which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle. Now, the third feature that I like about the anti-glare is that, hang on, let me check something, let me check something. Okay, we're good, we're good. We've got a lot of people contact me today. I shouldn't say this out loud, but the Oakley sales rep we're crunching some numbers and we're going to see if we can't put things together now i'm not allowed to sell oakley on the website i cannot sell them they will not be advertised but you know if you want to email me we'll see what we can do but the third feature of the anti-glare that i like is that it it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating that's because the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars it takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So we're gonna see if the lens fits in the first time around. I'm gonna tuck it in at the outside corner, push down the nose, it does not wanna go. So I'm gonna take this lens down another 10th of a millimeter, 0 0.05, 0 0.10, put it back in, hit retouch. I do not wanna force the lens into the frame. I do not want to heat up the front surface of the frame with this hot air blower 
because it will make the lens the plastic more pliable to accept a larger lens but it would cause the frame to stretch or what we in the business called roll if you can imagine your frame being a gutter the front corner would roll outward giving you an ugly cosmetic look as well as shortening the life of the frame because eventually when you have all that force from the lens applied to every direction of the frame the circumference of the frame it could cause it to break due to unnecessary force so i do what's known as the cold mount i do not heat up the frame the frame front is cold when i insert it in there to make sure that it is a perfect fit i cut every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide you want a perfectionist like me cutting your lenses that's why adolfo has come back for the fifth or sixth time and with six you get egg roll actually i am looking we are in discussion i'm looking for a polo frame that was featured in the martian i forget the name of the actor um uh, black guy with a beard i know that's i can't think of his name come on you guys in the martian who was the scientist who saved everyone's life like i remember matt damon but and Christine Wig, who I hear is now going to be the villain, villainess. What's the right word for that? The female villain in the new Wonder Woman 2 movie. So, and tuck this in at the outside corner. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. There you go. Now it's in there. Using my thumbs, I press down. It snaps in there easily. It is not forced. Let's go ahead and start cutting the left lens. We're going to flip that over to L. The royal lens. How about if I just do it? We're going to hit the green arrow, which is start in every language. The door closes just like before. The two white styluses are going to are going to trace the shape of the left lens, making sure it's large enough to fit. And you can see as it's going around, tracing that shape now. I'm getting ahead of myself. There we go. And the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. is measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel to have the best cosmetic look possible. I could move the bevel forwards or backwards. Actually, if I moved it forwards, the bevel, the lens would go backwards. If I move the bevel backwards, the lens would move forward into the frame. But you have no edge thickness. If my flashlight would cooperate, you would see that, but you have no edge thickness whatsoever. Let me go ahead and take this block off. Pull the sticker off, dry the block off with my hand approved drying technique. And we're gonna add to my monster. Let's see, Let's, wherever it comes separated, I press them back down. The artwork continues. It's almost as big as my bottle of cleaner. So we're gonna come down here to the lensometer, put it in over that black smudge mark. We're still on 175, we're still on Plano. And put it in over that black dot and I am getting Plano. That's because you have no power. You need no far-sighted or near-sighted correction. Your lens is completely astigmatic, meaning it only corrects for astigmatism. Now there is a stigma over the word astigmatism. It just means shape. It's like saying someone has straight hair, someone else has curly hair. You don't freak out when you hear that. But everyone freaks out over the word astigmatism and I don't know why. Yes, that condition is fatal. If anyone has astigmatism, they will die at one point in their life. I'm sorry, I, there is no known cure for that now. So you have three steps of astigmatism correction, starting at zero. Sorry if you guys can't see that. Turn that wheel and we end up at minus 75. Come on, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Hang on, hang on. We're going to go this old-fashioned way. All right, you want to see something funny? No, never mind. Where's, hang on, I gotta get to my apps. I got a slow phone. Hang on, hang on. Somewhere in here is a flashlight. There it is. Let's see if I can turn it on. Make sure I don't show any incriminating photos in there. Is it on? Is it on? Turn on. Ah, God, nothing works when you want it to. Trust my word for it. It's at 0.75, one tick mark away from one. Now, the fine two knobs at 175, again, you need, this is called simple astigmatism, meaning that you need no compound powers in the front. Everything with your glasses off, everything is the correct size. You only need to crisp it up. Astigmatism is what makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F, so that's what the Christmas is. You have three steps. You're on the three, third step of a ladder for astigmatism. You're going to be on the fourth step for your right eye. Now these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from zero to 180. It is ironic that you are the same in both eyes. That is very rare. So 
The Ray-Ban 8901 sells for $220 tax free. There is no charge, zip nada for your lenses. And you paid the $44.99 to have the anti-glare added to your lenses. So let's go down here. Let's see if the left lens fits. The other thing is I want to do because, I'm sorry for moving around. I took off minus 10. Let's, let's just go ahead and do this first. I took off minus 10 off your right eye. Let's see if that's all we need for your left eye as well. Dry everything off. Make sure there's no schwarf left over on the edge of your lenses. Actually, the one thing I want to do, let me go ahead and clean some of that off. Up, 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 up. My, my tissue is getting lightweight. Let's go ahead and clean off those outer marks that would be near your, near your frame. I, don't, I never like to get chemicals near a frame front. So I tuck it in at the outside corner, push down the nose. It does snap in easily. So that was also at minus 10. I want to write that down. Minus 0 0.10, minus 0 0.10. So in the future, should you ever need lenses from me, Secret Agent 461, I know exactly what size to cut them at. I can mail them right to you in these foam packets that I have. You can take them out and pop them right in. They will I ship lenses worldwide in those packets. I've got to order another 10,000. I ran out of my first batch. Can you believe that? They sell them in batches of 10,000, so I've got to place an order today for more so I don't run out. Take the block off. Put the sticker. Let's put that one there on top, shall we? Keep it growing. We'll come down here to the lensometer. Put it in above the black dot, not the smudge mark. Turn the power back. We are at zero plano. We're going to end up at minus one. Can you guys see that right on the mark? At least I can do this. Maybe it'll light up enough to... Nope, it's not even lighting that up. It's at minus one. You can take my word for it. So... Your pupillary distance is 31 for each eye for a total of 62. I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens, and when we hold it up to the left lens, the single dot, we're getting 62 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. I couldn't have done a better job if I had done the work myself. Let's see if I can clean up so I can continue working. It doesn't look like I'm cleaning up, does it? So, when you get these in the mail, and of course free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That is because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them down on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I put mine down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Today, I'm wearing my customary, the My Bread and Butter Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, size 52, in color 6053, which is the blue crystal. I normally try and match my shirt, but I don't have a pink frame, so today, I'm just going to have to clash. I'm going to put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. Press down on the opposite side. There is no wobble. Make sure each temple overlaps perfectly, and they do. And that neither one is askew like that. Now this is a great frame. It has, again, the carbon fiber. Extremely lightweight, but extremely strong and durable. It has little rubber grips. This does not bend down behind the ear. This has what is known as wrap. A lot of Oakleys have that. So the frame stays on your head. And of course, the rubber grips very well right above your mastoid bone. It's a very lightweight frame because of the carbon fiber. The plastic front is very lightweight too. I see one more smudge. And of course, I send out a selfie request to have your picture on the website, but also send out cleaning instructions, not only on the frame and the lenses, but also for your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and the cleaning cloth that I will provide, as well as the case, so that all of those will last you for years. Up, oh, the phone's ringing. Hang on one second. I apologize. I'm by myself today. i got to answer the phone. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That didn't take long, did it? I had a neighbor call me. I have to do a little <laughs> house call tonight to fix a pair of glasses for someone. I'm always on call when you're a master at making glasses. So, but as I was saying, great comfortable frame. Everything's all cleaned up. I field test every cleaning cloth. So when you get these in the mail and there's a wrinkle, or in my social media pics that I'm about to take, you know that this cloth works because I have field tested it. And let's see, if you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel and you'll see more frames. 
you're bound to see some Oakley videos coming up soon. Let's see my you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram as freeprescriptionlenses.com and on Twitter at freerxlenses. If anyone has any questions or comments, Adolfo, I'd love for you to leave a comment at the bottom, but if anyone else has a question or comment, please leave it below. Someone else can read your question and benefit from your knowledge. So, Adolfo in Urbana, Illinois, I hope you enjoyed watching as I cut prescription lenses with anti-glare for your Ray-Ban 8901, color 5263, which is the matte black that has the camo Ray-Ban emblems and white on the inside. And everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.